Hello. I'm late. I know I'm late, but okay, because I had a bunch of things that I wanted to show you, and I had to get them online, uh, but I'm here now, and actually, I thought I would start with a little trip into the basement. So, hello, Pauline. I am now walking into the basement of our store. So, for those of you who um, were wondering what the new shipment looked like, let me show you. Um, so the way you can find the new shipment is in our menu. If you go to sneak peek, you'll be able to see every single piece in the shipment. All of them will say sold out. Um, they are not all sold out. Some of them are wabi sabi. Some of them just haven't been checked yet. Um, so let me show you just how many pieces we have that we haven't released yet. If there's something in the sneak peek collection that you like, send us a message. But um, I'm going to show you. So, so far, this pile right here are pieces that are going to be wabi-sabi, but we haven't taken the videos yet. Um, these ones are wabi-sabi as well, and we haven't taken the videos yet. Uh, I think we still have some patching to do on those. These ones are ready to go. They just need videos. Um, this one here is, um, this is part of the new shipment, but we haven't finished stain checking these yet. You may recognize some of these fabrics. So that's this. Um, everything you're seeing here in the background, hi Lori, is actually overflow. So pieces that we've taken off the main floor, but you'll find them on the website. But there are some spectacular fabrics in here. Uh, but these are all on the website. Then here, um, this is this whole rack from here all the way across. And these are one shoulder dresses. Look at that beautiful fabric there. Um, these ones we haven't even looked at. All we've done is hung them up and then moved along because there was just so much to do. Um, this one here also is from the new shipment that we have not, haven't even gone near. Whoops, I'm gonna have to move this so I can show it to you. So this here is also part of the new shipment that we haven't done anything with. So, uh, but they are on the sneak peek page, but like, have a look at that fabric there. That's incredible, right? So these ones you can find on the sneak peek. Um, gorgeous fabrics, uh, but we haven't even looked at them yet. What's this one say? Oh, we have some that we've pulled for the fashion show that's coming up, the Masala Gala. Uh, these ones, I believe, are ready to go, um, except we haven't named the pieces yet, so we haven't had a chance. Yeah, it's a lot of silk, isn't it, Allison? It's crazy, right? Um, it kind of, somebody was saying that it's almost like, in India, how there's all of those saris that they let you choose from, we're kind of like that now too. Um, this is another set that, yeah, these ones are full price. We just need to sticker them and release them, but we haven't named them yet. So that's what we're working on um, when we're busily working away in store. But like some of these fabrics are just crazy. Um, just unbelievable. So we're going to be releasing these soon. But what we started with this time, look at that, and look at this, look at that purple. So this one we have in a cardigan as well as in the waterfall top. Is that the cardigan? Yeah, that's the cardigan. Um, and this one's ready to go. But again, you can have a look at all, of, oh, there's another really cute one. Um, you can look at all of these pieces uh, in the sneak peek. And if there's something that interests you, just send us a, a little message and we can go through it and let you know. But all these ones that I'm just showing you here, these ones are good to go and they're full price. We just haven't had a chance to stick them and release them. Like, look at that fabric. I don't know if you can see the gold under there, uh, but they are spectacular, just spectacular. So, oh, and these ones, wait, there's more. What are these? Uh, these are, these need patching. These are, Oh, these are fashion show pieces that once we patch them, look at that. Once we patch them, they're going into the fashion show collection. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's so gorgeous together. So that's what's going on over here. Um, I'm going to just flip this camera around, take you back upstairs. And then I, um, we pulled about, I want to say 30 pieces that have already been added to the Wabi Sabi collection. I did that today. And if you want, you can have a look um, in, if you're on Instagram, have a look uh, in our link in bio under featured collections. And the first collection I believe is called what's in store on April 20th. And everything that I'm about to show you is already in that list there. If you're on the website, you can probably see it just if you go into the menu under pure upcycled silk collection, 
Oh, how am I out of breath? Um, and it will show it to you there um, under featured collections. So now I'm going to show you the things I had planned on showing you today. It's so nice to see so many of you have joined. Let's see if this works. Okay, maybe a bit higher. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so first, before I show you uh, the Wabi Sabi collections, there's a couple of things that have been kind of I think flitting across our screens, but I haven't had a chance to properly show them to you. So I wanted to remind you about these pieces that we had last year and we continue to have this year. We've restocked. Uh, these are the, we call them rainbow tie-dye cardigans. And I wanted to show you, I'm five foot five. They are quite long. They have pockets. The colors are vivid, but rich. And the fabric is very drapey. It doesn't feel heavy on, but when you take it off, it has some weight to it because it has some stretch. It's made out of a rayon, which is a reconstituted bamboo fiber. Um, oh, hi, everybody. It's so good to see everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so yeah, so we have these, but the reason I wanted to show these to you again is because last year we had this fabric and then from this fabric, we had jumpsuits and we had the cardigans. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what some of those are. So this is the cobalt here. This one is the red, and you can see it's very multi-tonal. Each piece is totally different. Um, and then this one is the gray. And the reason that I wanted to show you these is because we got tie-dye jumpsuits this year. And even though they have the same color, like we have a gray one, we have a red one, we have a cobalt one, they're not rainbow tie-dye anymore. And so I really quickly, that's what I was delayed doing. I was adding at least one new picture of the actual color onto the website. So you could see that it is not a rainbow anymore. And I would actually venture to say that I think I kind of prefer it without the rainbow. So what they've done this year is they still have a tie dye, um, but it's more like a tone on tone tie dye. So it's, here you have contrasting colors in these and we do still have these contrasting rainbow colors. The colors are gorgeous. And um, you know, sometimes tie dye can look a little Grateful Dead. There's nothing wrong with that, but it kind of looks out there. I find that this tie dye does not look out there. It just kind of looks really rich. And um, one of you, I think it was Sandy Reynolds, sent us a picture of Margaret Atwood wearing one of these. So it wasn't too much for Margaret Atwood, um, but she also has one. So what I wanted to show you though, particularly, is how the colors are different this year in the tie-dye jumpsuits. So I showed you, okay, so this year we have this color, which is called orange. And the orange one, you can see, like it still has tie-dye, but the orange one is oranges, greens, and yellows. It doesn't have any blues, it doesn't have any pinks. Now, each one looks slightly different. Um, they're similar colorways, but like, you know, this, this might have this down here, or it might be green, orange, green, or something like that. So this is what they look like. So this is the orange one. This one here is the red one, which looks really different. So this red you can see is mixed in with purples. So it's reds, purples, and then this is almost like they've mixed in a bit of an orange. Whereas the other red from the previous year would have looked more like this. So you can kind of see it's a significant enough difference that I wanted to add new imaging because here there's a lot more contrast and this is kind of more blended in. And this one has more bluey undertones, but this one has slightly warmer undertones. So I needed to show you that. I, like I said, I have put pictures up there. And the other color that's really different is last year's gray looked like that, which I loved. And I did get a jumpsuit in this fabric. It's grays with these beautiful warm tones of oranges and fuchsias, like pinks, um, absolutely gorgeous. This year, it's different. So the, the gray that we got this year in the jumpsuit is all just gray and orange. So there's no rainbow at all right there. Oh, somebody just said something, but I missed it. So um, yeah, so right there, it's grays and oranges. And I would say the orange is almost like a coral. It's not, um, it's not a pumpkin, it's closer to persimmon. So that's what the gray looks like this year. 
And then this is what the cobalt looks like. We sold a lot of these at the show. If you have blue eyes, you want this color because it just looked amazing on everybody who tried it on. Maybe I should spin this just a smidge. There. Um, love the jumpsuit. Yeah, I'm actually going to try one on for you. Thank you, Pauline. Yes, they are extraordinary. So this is the cobalt here as compared to last year's cobalt, which would have looked like this. So you can see there's just a huge difference. This is much more tone on tone. This one's much more vibrant. And I, like I said, I kind of like this better because I feel like you could layer this more easily. Um, you're not competing with the colors in it. So yeah, it's almost like a neutral underpinning, which I always love, <laughs> which I always love. So uh, this is what the navy looks like. These are $50 each, by the way, and they do have pockets. Um, and then I think I already showed you the red. Um, this was probably the biggest seller at the show. It's called green, but it's kind of like teal because the colors that are mixed into it are chartreuse, which you see there, um, more of a sky blue in there, and then a green background. And the overall effect is teal. So when we put these on our website, uh, one of our really good customers, Lynette, she said, you got the sizing wrong. You say it only goes to 16, but it easily fits to a 2X. So I'm gonna try one on for you. Um, I got one of these last year, maybe the year before, maybe the year before, um, and I got the gray tie-dye one. And I honestly, I got it because it was really comfortable, but I didn't know how much I would actually wear it out and about because it was, it was pretty significant tie-dye. Um, and I have to say, it has become my go-to piece. If I'm at home and I just want to be comfortable, I throw on a tight-fitting t-shirt, I throw that on, I walk the dog in it. When I was doing the setup for the yoga show, I did it in one of these because it was that really hot day. Um, so I probably will be getting myself another one too. They're just way too comfortable not to get. And I'm going to have to tilt this a bit because I want you to see how the leg is on this. I hope that works. So when you put your leg in, and you can wear either side to the front, um, the leg here comes out the side. So your foot is actually coming out the side here and not the bottom. So it is a harem pants style. And you just pop that up there. Oh, for underpinnings today, I'm wearing the Ritzy Tank, the one by Blue Sky, the Canadian company. And I'm wearing the um, Terrera Capri leggings. So just because I knew I'd be trying a lot of stuff on. But this is what they look like. So really stretchy through here. There's so much room. Like you could fit, you could fit anything under there. Um, and then through the hips, there's a lot of room too. Um, I think they drape really well because of the weight of the fabric. When we were at the yoga show, we saw a lot of tie-dye style jumpsuits. A lot of them were in rayon. Uh, we saw some that were in a, more of a knit, like this is a knit. This is not, um, it, it's a jersey. This is actually a rayon jersey. Um, we saw other ones, but I think ours looked better and customers told us this as well because of the weight of the fabric um, and because it's a jersey It has these great elongating lines that kind of just happen um, So it ends up being really flattering and we were talking to different customers and they were saying they really liked where the crotch fell that it didn't feel bulky in the center They loved that it had pockets. They loved the coverage under the arm if they needed it so overall I would say if you are looking for a casual throw on piece, I feel like this year's jumpsuits are better than last year's jumpsuits just because it's kind of a solid. So I should probably try to pair it with something today. I didn't even think of that. Um, maybe I'll get Shafali to put together something where she uses this as the base and put silk over it because I definitely think you could do that this year in a way that you couldn't do it last year. So that's the jumpsuits and the cardigans, which I wanted to share with you. And they are in the links. Um, if you go into the collection for April 20th, you'll see them there. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you before I get to the Wabi Sabi. The second thing I wanted to show you are these pants. So some of you will remember these pants from before. Uh, they're called the Tashi pants. There's the front. I know because they're black, they're hard to see. So nope, there's the front. So I'm going to try to describe them to you. So we've had these pants before in a cotton knit. This time, what they've come in is as a cotton vol. So it's a very light, you can see how you can see through it. Um, it's a really light cotton. The jumpsuits, Gabriella, are all one size. 
um, so you don't have to worry about it. They really do fit from a size two to about a two X and it's all in the drape. And again, I'm five foot five. I had it done all the way up and I'd say that I had probably about three more inches that I could have gone lengthwise. Um, like if I were shorter or taller, there was room to move. So the cotton is a cotton ball. And um, what else I liked about this, uh, no problem anytime, Gabriella. So what else I liked about this is they're lighter weight. Like the nice thing about the ones we had last year, and I think we do have a few left still, is that they were multi-seasonal. You could definitely wear them in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, you could wear them with a boot. These I would say are distinctly a summer pant. Um, they're very, very light. Um, so much so that if they didn't have this lining, you would probably find them too sheer, but they included this lining. So inside these pants is a very generously cut pair of shorts. They are not going to be binding in any way. Um, I like the fact that it's going to stop the chafing between your legs and um, that you don't have to worry about things being see-through, but they're not adding any extra bulk. So let me try these on for you. I think right now we only have black. Um, they do have other colors, like they have kind of a green, they have a pale pink, um, I think they have a blue. Um, I wanted to get them in and kind of see how everybody felt about them, but the staff love them. So that's always my first test. I'm like, do you guys like it? And they did. Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe this is gonna be a winner for the summer. The price point is really good, but I don't know what it is. It's on the website. I wanna say it's 55. Um, I'm really hoping it's 55. I think it is. Um, okay, so very, very stretchy. One size fits all. Um, we have not had a person who doesn't fit into the Tashi pants yet. So I think it would fit anybody. The way that it works is you put your feet in, you have a pair of almost like a Palazzo pant there. You can see it has these really big cargo pockets here, but because the cargo pockets are placed a little lower, like closer to the thigh instead of the hip, they end up making the, the pants look more a-line and not like chunky up here. So it kind of, you end up with a, a very A-line look. And the way that they're created is that there's buttons up here, here, you can see them, along here. So you can wear them this way as pants, or you can button them across this way and it becomes a skirt. Now, if you do wear it as a skirt underneath it, you will still have the shorts. So to go pee, you'd have to pull them down. You can't just lift up to go pee. Um, and okay, so in order to make them more size inclusive, what they've done is they've added this tie here so you can make them tighter. And if you want, you can also make them looser. If you want to adjust the length, there's ruching here on the side and you can pull this up and make it quite a bit shorter like that as far if you wanted. And then you can kind of pull this out and balance it out a bit more. Um, but it does give you, do you see the difference in length that's created down there? Um, so I think it's going to be a really good summer pant. If you're looking for something just super lightweight, super easy to wear, um, I think these would be worth a try. And the price point is great. And I don't think they're going to weigh you down. So I like them. Um, I love mine so much, so comfy. Lynn, did you get these ones in the, the cotton voile or did you get yours in the uh, cotton cotton jersey, because I have the cotton jersey ones and they are extraordinarily comfortable. And I do think that I will get these for myself for the summer, just because they are so light. Like they're pretty much nothing. There's nothing to them. Um, so, okay, so I wanted to show you that. I just added to the, to the website, the pictures are horrible. They're not even on a person, um, but everybody here has been so swamped trying to process all of that stuff I showed you downstairs um, that nobody's had a chance to add them. Yeah, you have the cotton jersey. And we do have some in the cotton jersey still, but I can't seem to get black anymore. I can't get olive anymore. I can't get purple and I can't get cherry, which were the colors that are wine. And those colors were amazing. I have a few of the white ones left in the cotton jersey. And then I think I have the camo color. I think that might be it. Um, they're getting really hard to buy, but I think this is a really good option. So maybe consider it. Okay, now we're gonna get into the Wabi Sabi. And I have to tell you, all the Wabi Sabi are unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna start with my favorites. Hang on one sec. Go wipe my little feeties off a bit. Um, so yeah, the Wabi Sabi is incredible. And I am going to show it to you from my absolute favorites. Um, did you also 
uh, get another type of skirt? That's a good question. Um, so these pants turn into a skirt and there is another type of skirt, but we're still workshopping it. Um, I can show you, do you want me to show you? But this is not the final product. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Give me one second, I'm gonna run and get them. I hope it's there, because I know she's always been pulling things for the fashion show and she may have pulled it. to show you are the samples that I got from India and um, because we just have the samples right now I thought I would just show them to you but I can't sell them yet um, and I think some of them are going into the fashion show and we may have a skirt let's see so okay this was the first iteration of the skirt and I do believe that we made some changes from when this one first came out um, and we're still workshopping this, so I don't know when the final product will show up, but this is what it looks like. So it's got a ruffle across the bottom, it's got two seams, and it's got a long belt. And the idea was um, that you could wear it in a bunch of different ways, but ideally, how did we do it? So you gotta play with it a bit, and I have not played with it enough. In fact, this is the first time I've looked at it since India. Um, but yeah, we thought you would wear it like that. Um, and what we decided was that we were going to make it a little bit longer so that even for someone who's a little bit wider through here, there's still a lot of coverage. Um, but other than that, I think we liked the length. It's just we're trying to decide the best way to get enough coverage up here. So this is the first iteration of the skirt. I do, or did, yeah, I do have one. Do I have two? Yeah, I do have two. Okay. So then this is the second version. This is the one where we said we felt like we needed more fabric here in the middle. And if you're at the store, I welcome you to come here and try it on. Um, so this is version two. And I think that it needs longer, longer ties, but it would sit more like that. So now it's got more of a pencil skirt look on me. Um, if I were a little bit smaller, it would wrap around a couple of more times. If I were a little bit wider, um, it would look like the first one looked on me. So that's kind of where we are at with this skirt, where it could be worn like this. And then we also have a third version uh, right here. This one started off with an elastic at the back, but then we decided that the elastic was just um, limiting in terms of, oh, I'm so glad you like it. Um, yeah, we felt that the elastic was kind of limiting. So we pulled out the elastic. So this is the third version. The third version is even longer in terms of how much, how many times it can wrap around your waist. Um, so we kind of have to, when the staff and I have a minute, we're going to try to figure out which one of these is the best way to go. I am actually leaning towards this one. Um, this one is the longest version, so it, it's the most. Um, that burgundy was gorgeous. Can't wait to try it on. I can't wait till we get more of them in, but I kind of like, see, I personally feel like I like this because if I were smaller, it would just overlap more, still look great. If I were larger, there's still so much fabric here that I would get lots of coverage. Um, and if you're kind of in between, you still get a lot of coverage. And in addition to being a skirt that's going to be one size, we were thinking that there's probably other ways you could wear this. And when I was trying it on um, for Achel, I was thinking like, I'm sure that somehow you could wear this as a one-shouldered dress. See, and again, if you have more fabric, you have the option. Yes, the bigger, the more options. I agree, I agree, Lara. I feel like that's kind of where I'm at, but I always like to get the staff involved when we're workshopping something because we all have different bodies and it's really nice to see what other people are thinking of doing. Um, so I feel like there's something you could do there as a bathing suit cover up. Um, but again, very much in the workshop stage. Um, would like to see it just a little bit longer. That's interesting. So I wonder, 
Yeah. There is a little bit of room for it to have length because the sari is like it would, the sari is, would sit like this if it were an actual sari, so it would tuck in here. And it looks like there's probably at least another six inches we could go, um, not including the frill. Um, I'd wear the third one. Would it be a thought of putting slits in the waistband to pull the belt through? Wrap it under the bust. Oh. Oh, wait, do you mean like that? I was thinking about the slits. We actually spent a lot of time talking about slits there, and we were thinking we could workshop it um, here and see if that would be useful. My concern with the slits was that if you don't use the slits, then are they kind of going to bother you? So there it is tied up. And that's the other thing is I really felt like we needed longer belts. Uh, is this what you meant, Lara? Like to kind of do it this way? Or did you mean to just wear it? Oh, oh that's cute. Um, or did you mean to wear it like more like an empire style? Like up here? I don't know. I have a feeling this is one of those ones where you guys will put it out to you and then you'll be telling us all the great ways you found to wear it. It just, it seems like a sound idea. I like the ruffle at the bottom. I like the versatility of it. I don't know. I have to figure out the logistics though. Um, how you had, oh, tie it under the bust. Okay, so have it like this. Wait, okay, put this back here, I guess. And then, <laughs> oh no, I'm going to twist myself into a knot. Um, this goes up here. That maybe goes there. Oh yeah, that goes there. And then that goes back there. I don't know. I don't know, friends. We'll have to figure it out. It's definitely going to be one that we play with. Um, but I kind of think, like, now you get that little ruffle there too, which is sweet. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see. So this one is definitely a work in progress. Um, and we're just going to have to keep trying to figure that out. Because everybody wanted a skirt. Um, and myself included, but we couldn't find one. And we're actually playing with a couple of different pant styles as well. Um, cl closet, oh, close, dress yoga. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is kind of dress yoga, isn't it? Um, I, have to, I have to play with it more. I wasn't expecting to show these to you guys today. So you guys will remember that this was the first iteration, I've just learned that word, of the long maxi dress caftan. And it was cute, but we all decided that it had a lot of things that we didn't like. Um, I had put a slit in the sleeve. We decided against that. I think we had talked about putting some sort of ruching there. We got rid of that. This one has ruching in the front and the back. We got rid of that. Um, and then wh where we ended was this version here, which I'm really happy with. And I have placed an order for 20. So we'll see if we can get those. I'm sorry, they should be here relatively soon. <clears throat> oh, something's in my throat. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get some water. I have to run all the way back to get water. Let me use yourselves. I'll be right back. So I've ordered 20 of them, and um, <clears throat> there I'll have, well, we'll have them with the next shipment, but I am very happy with this design. Um, we don't have any ruching anywhere except here, so that you can tighten this and it kind of draws everything in from here, but then it kind of, because it does that, it ends up tightening the back. Um, it has slits in it there. You can wear it fully loose if you want, like, that um, actually even I think it goes even wider so you can wear it just like that if you want um, you can wear it the other way as well yeah I think it's super cute too actually we're all really fond of it so this is it backwards and it looks like that at the back and I can tighten this front part by pulling this ruching here not much but a little so that it adds a bit more shape to it um, and again it relies oh definitely have to Definitely have to do that properly. Um, but yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Um, I still haven't got pricing now that we've decided on it. Actually, I was going back to try to figure out exactly what the cost will be. Um, 
but I think we have ourselves a maxi caftan style. It's really, really comfortable and it feels really nice on. Like that's, I guess, the comfort. Um, and it's got like the right amount of coverage without being too heavy. So I feel like this is definitely a win. And then the last style, and this one is also a yes, absolutely, but I haven't ordered any yet. Um, this is a version of the boxy top. And so those of you who watched all the India stuff, um, you were kind of there as we developed the style. So let me grab a boxy top and I'll show you. Um, so this is a boxy top. And while some people swear by it, they think it's like the best piece, they work it into every, every style of clothing that they wear, like whether they're going out or whether they're going to work or hanging out. Um, but for some people, it feels a little bit short through here. Like it just lands kind of at the wrong spot. And um, the reason that we continue to make it, even though it's not super size inclusive, is that we often get left with about three quarters of a yard of fabric, um, like of a, of a sari, so like from here to the floor and only three quarters of a yard wide. And so we try to think of designs that we could use that fabric most effectively with. And the design we came up with was the boxy top. Um, so this, hard to show you, but if I were to undo the seams here on the sides, this part here, I'm not gonna be able to show you this. You're really gonna have to use your imaginations. Um, so this part would get tucked in here as the sari. And then this part down here on this side would be the part that comes down to the leg. So that's what you're getting is basically this here and then flipped upside down and there, which is what limits the length of it. Because everyone's like, can't we make it any longer? I'm like, not using a quarter of a yard of fabric, we can't. Um, but I knew that we needed something. And so we were talking about the front tie top and how that style, like people, again, people swear by it, but there are other people who are like, I don't like having that tie here. I don't like having the tie in the back, but I really like the length, but I wanted something less blousy, more like a t-shirt. Uh, so this is what we came up with. And we'll be using the same fabric, like parts of the sari that we would have used for the front tie top. We're now just switching it over to this one. And what it's gonna look like is exactly like a boxy top. Same, I think it's a little bit wider actually. Um, but the really big difference is that it has these slits here. So when you put it on, you can wear either side to the front. Um, this one's crepe, so you don't need to wear anything under it. But what I really like about it is it fits like a t-shirt. Like it really fits like a t-shirt. And you can reach your pockets through here. If your hips are a little bit bigger, what's gonna end up happening is you're going to have it so that you can see your hips coming out through the sides. Um, but still your eye will channel down through the center because that's where the majority of the fabric is gonna be. So I've, I haven't ordered these yet just because I haven't paid for the last shipment yet and I do not want her making things I can't pay for. Um, so, but this is definitely on its way. So we're, I think we're calling this the boxy blouse because the other one's boxy top and this one's a little bit longer, unless you guys can think of a better name. Um, it's definitely boxy, maybe the boxy tee. I don't know. If you guys come up with a good name, let me know. Um, but yeah, this is a style that is on its way, but it has not been ordered. Whereas the maxi dress, I think I've ordered 20 or 25. So that was a fun little aside. I do like me a good aside. Um, what's this? Oh, this was the boxy top I just showed you. So I think now I can show you the Wabi Sabi pieces. So again, these are exceptional, like over the top, unbelievable, gorgeous. And I'm going to start with my favorite. Um, so I am such a fan of the boxy, uh, sorry, the baby doll, boxy baby doll dress. The boxy tee. Yeah, maybe the boxy tee, because it does fit like a t-shirt, right? Maybe boxy tee. It's, it's easier to say than boxy blouse, and blouse kind of has a more formal feel to it, and it is not a formal top. Boxy, boxy moxy. <laughs> we could do that. We definitely could do that. No one would forget that name. Uh, it looks like the consensus is boxy tee. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now this is a boxy baby doll dress and it is so gorgeous. I don't know why no one, no one's even asked us about it yet. Like, I don't know, can you guys see that embroidery through there? I don't know, see it? I'm wondering if it's as sparkly for you as it is for me. 
So everything on this side here and down at the bottom is embroidered. And then it has this gorgeous embroidered base, like border all the way across the bottom. On this side, boxy tee describes it perfectly. Okay, I think we're gonna go with boxy tee then. So boxy top and boxy tee. Um, so this side has less embroidery. So you can see this is quite embroidered. This is the pallo of the sari. Um, this is less embroidered. So this is what's leading up to the, the pallo of the sari. And um, it's got these great colors. So it's, it's gray, very pale gray, kind of almost you could make it like you could wear it with white um, and black and gray and that's it. So the colors are so easy to work with. The fabric is phenomenal. It's part of the Wabi Sabi collection. So it's down from 100, 215 to, how much is it? I think it's 131, am I right? 131. And the issue with this one is it has some very moderate staining, some mild patching and some stains. But honestly, there are pictures in a video and I can't, I mean, I can't see them. So there. This is how sweet this piece is. It is not at all itchy. Um, I find that the embroidery here weighs it down enough that it has a gorgeous drape to it. Um, I can't tell if you guys are seeing the sparkles. I wish, I hope you are, because they're really pretty. They're not just, um, they're not just sequins. They're almost like um, iridescent sequins and they've got like a bit of a rainbow diamond feel to them. Like they reflect like diamonds would or rhinestones, but they're sequins. And they're all sewn in. And then those are beads holding the sequins in place there. Um, but yeah, and you can see that it's all hand done from the back. There, you can see all the work right there. Uh, so just stunning, stunning, stunning piece. I am absolutely shocked that we still have it. Um, so that's my favorite. And I think I'm going to go through the boxy dresses first because that, that is kind of my go-to style for summer. Um, here's another one that is exceptional. So this is the back. Very lovely. You could wear that to the front. This is the front. Hope you can see all of that sparkle on it. So here, um, the sequins are tone on tone. So there's yellow sequins on top of the yellow silk. There's kind of bluey green sequins to make that vine. Those are lavender sequins. And then in here, you have pinky purple sequins, but they're not like crazy bright or anything. Um, they just have like a, they're understated. Um, so even though they're there, they're not like, hey, look at me, I sparkle. It's more like, oh, wait, does she sparkle? Uh, it's, it's a bit more like that. The color is a watermelon color. So it's pink, but it's leaning towards red. And then it's got some purple, it's got some yellow, it's got some brown. Um, this piece would match elk, the elk pants from Bryn Walker. So again, super soft, beautiful colorway, um, feels like a dream on. Uh, here we go, right there. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of colors you could wear it with. Um, I don't know if I pair it with that. Oh, I definitely pair it with this. Where is that color? Yeah. So this color here is one of the Bryn Walker colors, and this is the Caspa pant. This color is called Heron. So it's kind of like a, a silvery, lavender, gray, like it's, it's another chameleon color. But I feel like if you're somebody who doesn't like wearing white pants because that's just an accident waiting to happen, that's how I feel about it. Um, I like this with these because it just kind of brings out the purple, but you could wear it with like any color. But I feel like if I were going to match it with something, I'd put it with this because it's super sweet. You can kind of see this color is the same as that. So this was just released and these are the Casba pants in Heron and I should add those to the collection um, before when I'm done this. Okay, so this is this one. Um, this next one is gorgeous too. This next one does not have embroidery. It's just a beautiful, now I know I was looking at the pictures when I was posting this today. In the pictures, it looks more green. In person, I'd say it's teal. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a teal. So this is blue here. And then this is green on blue. And then down here you have blue, but this background here is teal. Um, it's a Georgette silk. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. 
super, super lightweight. I think this would look great with jeans. Like it's just, it's got, it's got that vibe. Uh, you could definitely wear it with black. You could wear it with navy really easily. You could wear it with white for sure. So this again was just added to the Wabi Sabi collection. Oops. That one is Georgette, so you probably would have to wear something underneath it. This one is a Georgette as well. It is a lovely pink. It's a muted grayed pink. So it's, it's not like super girly. Um, and then here you have kind of like a tan, some blue, and it's got some black outlines around things. So that's what this one looks like. Um, again, I think I would pair this with gray. I think it'd be really sweet with the gray. Um, so this one was just added. This one here is so lovely. Um, everybody always loves these shades of pink. This one you can see has some patching here on the front, um, which is why it's part of the Wabi Sabi collection. Um, it is sheer. The colors in it are, like you might think that that's a yellow, but that's actually a beige. And then that's orange. And then there's some magenta. So it's orangey, like a rusty orange, magenta, beige, fuchsia. And that's that really like look at look at the flowers the way they kind of just go down on a diagonal can you guys see that here it's a beautiful piece and then the border at the bottom has that that burnt ready orangey color there you can see it there so this was also just added to the Wabi Sabi collection and you can find it oh this one um, and you can find it if you go into <laughs> my whole family's chatting with each other um and you can find it with ah Oh, and there's Achel. She's saying hello. Hi, Achel. Um, so here we have blue, navy blue, lighter blue, gray in the background. Um, lovely print. I feel like if you're somebody who's broader through here and you want to get one that's not going to make you look like, like a box, like you don't want to look like a, a billboard or a sign, um, it's always a good idea to get something that has a broken up pattern like this. So I think this would be real. I mean, it would look great on anybody, but I feel like it's it would work especially well on somebody who's broader through here because there's the pattern breaks up the whole space. So I think this one is gorgeous as well. It's sheer. You, oh, and I'm wearing it backwards. Um, you could definitely pair it with white or navy or jeans um, or just put one of the Mina slip dresses underneath it. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is this. This is the Mina slip dress, and I would recommend <laughs> that you will wear it all the time for anything that's sheer. Um, I normally wear it, like my preferred size in the Mina slip dress is a medium, even though generally speaking, I'm an extra large in things. And then yesterday when I was doing that, or two days ago, yesterday, when I was doing that live with Mira, I was wearing an extra large and it fit really comfortably too. So I feel like there's a lot of give in this. Like if, it, if you get a size too small, it'll still fit. If you get a size that's too big, it'll also still fit. Um, so there, I would put this underneath it. And then what else do we have here? So there's another boxy baby. There's actually so many boxy baby dolls right now. They're just stunning, perfect for summer. Love this one. If you don't want bling, that's the one I would go with. Now, this one here is a crepe silk. You don't need to worry about wearing anything underneath it. What makes it spectacular is this embroidery. So you can see it all right there. And there's the back of it. It's just so rich. The thread is... What color would you call that? I guess gold if it weren't shiny. <laughs> so it's, it's like a golden color, not a metallic gold. That's probably the best way to describe it. And then uh, the background color is, is a pumpkin, definitely a pumpkin. It's a crepe silk, so you don't have to wear anything underneath it. It's got this gorgeous border, a beautiful drape, um, has some patching on it. But if you go online and look it up, you'll be able to see exactly what the issues with it are. This next one, I actually featured a picture of this when I was at the yoga show. There was a lady who came and tried it on. And it looked like a million bucks on her. And I thought for sure she would buy it. And everybody who came to the booth was like, you need to buy that. It's perfect. Um, I don't know. She didn't buy it. So now it's back. And I can share it with you. Um, what I like about it. The colors are gorgeous. You've got this teal blue, 
um, and then these fun little colors that you can pick up with your jewelry. What I love the most about it is that panel right there. So hopefully, again, you can see some of the sparkle that's happening there. This panel is exceptionally, exceptionally beautiful. It's just like a pop of art on what's already really beautiful. And then here, you can see these are all embroidered too. These are um, beads. Are they beads? Yeah, they're beads. No, wait. No, it's um, copper colored thread that's been sewn on in the shape of a flower. And then this, these are seed like seed beads right there to make some of the flowers. Um, and then those are embroidered through here. The fabric is just exceptional, just exceptional. And I think this would make a perfect summer dress. Um, they all are, but this one, wow, right? Wow, that panel, thank you. Um, what is the code on the one from the show? This is the one that was from the show. And, oh, it hasn't, it doesn't have a name yet. It's called PRC3339. So that's this one, PRC3339. Um, but yeah, just gorgeous. And I don't know if I showed you the border on the bottom. Like this one, I could not believe that lady didn't buy it. It was like it was made for her. I, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, beautiful, love the elongating lines. Um, okay, I think I've answered that. So this one's pretty, so pretty. This next one I also think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one is gorgeous because it's art. Like there's just that panel right there. I would spend my whole day just looking at it. Um, but this next one I really like because of its simplicity. So it is a teal green. I want to say it's a little closer to a Tiffany blue. So it's that, it's that real in between a blue and a green. And then other than that, it's just got this black pattern all over it, uh, which is really, I feel like maybe it's looking like kind of a hound's tooth there. It is not, it is really abstract and um, there's no real pattern to it. It's just like, it's got these black splotches like that. Um, I just love the fact that it's just the two colors, black and then this color, because I feel like you could do so much with it in terms of jewelry. Like if you could just find, I'm looking around to see if I can find something, but like you could just add a pop of anything to this. This is not the right one, but you see what I mean? Like you just add that to it and everything just pops because you're basically working with a neutral. It's so gorgeous. And I think this would be really easy to travel with because if you were on the plane, you could put something darker underneath and long sleeved. And then, cause I, I do this all the time if I'm traveling, I wear something with lots of layers on the plane. And then as soon as I get to the hot place, the under layers start to come off. So I feel like this is a dress that can get you from cold weather to warm weather and look great in both places. So yeah, this one stunning, love her, love her to bits. This one is PRG3317. And she is all, she was also just released into the Wabi Sabi collection. Um, this goes here. Oh, are we done bossy baby dolls? Nope. Okay, here's another one. So again, love how this breaks up here into different sections so that you don't end up with like a whole lot of fabric just right at the top, like a panel. Um, pattern on this is stunning. Look at those flowers. And then how the flowers are juxtaposed with this kind of a grid design. Um, and then kind of leaves up here. This color is also that kind of tealy. This one's a little bit more on the teal side than blue side. Um, there's lots of different shades of purple. There's black that you could pull out from in there if you want to make it more wintry. There is kind of like a whiter color in there that you could use if you want to make it more summery. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece. And I kind of feel like even though the gathers are right here at the hem because this and this are the sorry this and this are the same color it almost looks like there's a third tier here of gathers so it almost looks like a three-tiered dress um how does the style fit if you are oh i think i only got part of what you wrote um if it helps i'm generally an extra large on the bottom and a large on the top um, I'm five foot five and I would say this style it even fits Mira like I 
I haven't found anyone that the style really doesn't suit. It's just you have to be careful that if you are very rectangular through here, if you're an, um, an A apple shaped person, then you definitely want a pattern that's broken up across the top. Um, how does this style fit if you are shorter, say five foot? Okay, so I'm five five. So what if I were to drop it down five inches? I would say it would fit. Um, if I think the only people who haven't looked good, it, like if you're shorter, if you're very petite and narrow and you're shorter, it can overwhelm your frame. But if your frame is a little bit more substantial and you're five foot, I don't think it would be a problem. Like we have had customers who are five two who wear it and that's where those dress ups really come in handy. So if you have a look at the bottom of our homepage, there's um, a set of blog posts playing dress up with and we try to describe the body shape of the person who's doing the dress up. So you can say, oh, she's 5'2 and a you know, 42D bra. I'm 5'2 with a 42D bra. Now I can see how these are gonna look. Um, and I think we're on episode 12 of that, but I really do try to get different body types so that you can see, um, you know, if you can match yourself up to one of those people there, you'll get to see yourself um, in that style. So yeah, beautiful colors on this. Love it, love it to bits. Um, this one is PR, it's going to be PRG because it's a Georgette, um, and it is PRG337. Wait a minute, if this is 337, what was that one? Something doesn't sound right. Oh, this was 339. This is 339. This one's 337. Okay, let me look for more baby dolls. Here's another one. So this one is so freaking cute. Again, I hope you can see the sparkles. Um, there's this kind of a zigzag pattern across the front here. Uh, what's kind of cool is that the zigzag is perfectly centered um, and it does break up this section here. Uh, the fabric has sparkles all the way through it and kantha stitching, which is those lines of thread that are going through. And then it has floral designs here. You can see on the back that this was all hand done, the cantha stitching on the fabric through there. Um, it's so super cute. The background color is a tan uh, with more brownie undertones. And then the other colors in it are, that's actually kind of like a, a dark olive green. That is a rusty orange and then black. But I think what makes it really beautiful is, let's see if you guys can see it accurately, is this embroidery up here. Um, because it really, it, I think that if it just had these stripes of the orange and the black, it might be a bit bold at the bottom and not evenly weighted with the color on top. But because it has this really delicate pattern on top, it just looks so beautiful. And what you're seeing there is thread work that's on top of that. So this is what the back looks like, but because it has the stitching done on top of it, it now looks like that. So I'll try this one on because I think it's just so, so pretty. Uh, this one is a crepe silk as well. Here we go. You can see how lovely that is. It's got such a nice sparkle. I think, I think because of that neutral undertone, it doesn't look Halloween-y um, because it's got kind of this olive-y color which has almost like a gray khaki sense to it. Um, and then the black and the orange is softened by the neutral in there. Um, and I feel like this zigzag is really very flattering as well. So that's that one. And is that all the baby dolls? I think there's one more. Um, okay. no, it's not. Oh, it's a okay, I won't try these ones on because I feel like I've been trying everything on. But here's another really gorgeous one. Extraordinarily light fabric. This one is a chiffon. Um, that type of silk that's so light that it kind of it's like a chiffon cake, like it just floats. It, there's nothing to it. So there's this one here. The colors are coming out really true. So you can see it, it's very sheer. You can see right there, you can see my whole hand. Um, 
So that's what makes it so light and airy so that you'll see your body through the sides. And then, I thought I saw one more. We never have this many baby doll dresses that are part of this collection. So I'm very excited to share these with you. I think there's just two more. So then we get into self pocket dresses and sculptural tunic dresses and those are exceptional. So this one here has little like bubbles on it. Somebody was saying they thought it looked like blueberries. It's really cute. Um, and then down here you have the little wavy lines. Um, so there's this one here, very sweet. And then this one here, which is, um, I think when you have a look at the pictures when we put it online, you can really see just how sheer this is. And in fact, I think I'm gonna try it on for you because I feel like it looks heavy visually when you look at it this way. Um, but when I try it on, you'll see just how light the fabric is. Hi, Maria. Nice to see you. I hope school is going well. Um, so there, you can see how you can kind of see right through there because the fabric is really light. So even though the colors are a little bit darker, the, the weight of it is non-existent. So there you go. And this is another piece where I feel like just a great necklace would make all the difference. Um, but I have to try to find one. Um, so here we'll move this and I think we're done the baby dolls. So what's left? I have a lot of jumpsuits. I have some high low tops, more jumpsuits. Um, what will I show you? I think I'm going to show you the, the waterfall. I can go, that's a waterfall. I did not, I did not organize these. Okay, what I'm gonna show you next are the sculptural tunic dresses because there are just a few of them and they always go really quickly. So I'll let you have a look. So the sculptural tunic dresses are the ones that fit best. Um, if at the top, like I'm a, again, so I'm a 38C. And when I try this on, you're gonna see that it is quite fitted through here. This was designed with the pear-shaped body uh, in mind. So it is narrower through here. And then right as soon as you get to the Empire, right underneath the bus, it opens up considerably. So you can have lots of tummy, lots of hip, but you do have to be quite narrow from here to here to wear this style. So this one is sheer. And what we have discovered is you can wear either side to the front. The colors are corals and reds and kind of like a very pale corally peach. So there you go, this is what it looks like on. So we call it the sculptural tunic dress because you see how it has these, the way that it's sewn, there's a panel that's sewn on with kind of a zigzag effect, like it scoops back and forth, and that's what gives it that parachute styling. So this is what it looks like there. You can see the empire line right up there. Uh, like I said, I'm a 30, 38C, there is not a whole lot of room in here. Um, so. It's, it's definitely not for somebody who's big through the bust, like who carries their weight in here. I don't think it would be right for you. But if you don't carry your weight here and you carry it all down here, this is the perfect dress because it makes it, it just skims everything below here. And it looks like the, it's the dress filling up the space when it may be a little bit more than the dress. Um, 36D or double D and sculptural. Oh, have you tried it? Your 36D or, or double D and it fits you? Holly, is that what you're saying? Because that's really good to know. I'll wait for Holly to answer. So that's one of them that we just added. And then there's, I think, four more. And I know I'm trying them all on. I hope I'm not eating up too much of your evening. You have three. Okay. So Holly is a 36D or double D, and she has three of these, and they fit her fine. So um, it, hopefully that will help you knowing the sizing. I always try to underestimate how it's gonna fit because there's nothing more disappointing than getting a piece and then it doesn't fit. Um, I have, I am a 36D and I have three, are they one of my favorite styles? Two and one on the way, lol. Okay, this is great, good to know. So 36D works, 38C works, 36 double D works. So there you go. And it is a great style. I found uh, when I was in India, I went to the style a lot and I just wore it with the Mina dress underneath. It was just so light and easy to throw on. And especially in India where I kind of had to worry a little bit about coverage, um, 
you know, like it was just inappropriate for someone my age to be showing a lot of leg. Um, and especially because I have brown skin, so they kind of expect me to follow all the rules until they hear me talk. Um, but yeah, so I found that this was modest enough, but it also kept me cool enough. Um, this one here is also part of our Wabi Sabi collection. This, I have to share with you, is a satin right there. It is the softest satin you have ever felt. And then this here, I believe, is it a Georgette? It feels like a Georgette. Yeah, so this is a Georgette, but here at the sleeve, that is an incredibly soft satin. Here, it is also an incredibly soft satin. And down here, it's a satin, it's so soft. Um, and then also back here, the yoke at the back um, and down here. So you have a mix of this, I, can't, I wish that I could find other words besides incredibly soft satin, but it is an incredibly soft satin. It feels like, like a cool breeze. Like I can't even express how, like a silk has a certain temperature and um, that's the uh, probably the best way for me to tell when a silk is real or fake. And I had this crazy experience in India where <sighs> despite me saying there is no price range, I people are getting married. I need to give good gifts to people. I need silk. And they were bringing me out things and swearing that it was silk. And all I had to rely on was me being able to do this and and uh i almost bought them and then right at the end i said to my husband i'm like i work so much with silk i'm not convinced and so we were about to walk away and then the guy called his this was the place i may have already told you this this was the place where i put the video of the guy who tried on the sari for us and how like he put out one leg and then tucked the pleats into his pocket and then kind of did one of these um so that was the place where they tried to tell us everything was silk and finally, I'm like, it's not silk. And uh, we were about to walk away. And then the owner called his son in, who was about 18 years old and spoke really great English. And, oh, hold on, um, spoke really great English. So I was talking to him. And so I said to him, I'm like, okay, look me in my eyeballs. Is this real silk? And he looked at me, and he goes, yeah, it's silk. And I go, nope, eyeballs. And I say, silk? And he goes, yeah, silk. So then we, we kind of established it is not silk. Uh, he did look awesome, right? Like, that's what Mira kept saying, is that he wears a sari better than most women. Um, and it was funny, because they made him run up and down the stairs to get saris for us. And it wasn't even just, like, downstairs to upstairs. Every time we wanted something different, this guy, this tall, skinny guy, and that's why I said he was so skinny, is that they make him run downstairs. He has to run to the boutique, which is on another street, grab a handful of saris, come running back, come back into the, like, the bazaar the market come up the stairs put them in front of us and then start trying on saris again um but yeah so they lied and um and it wasn't until i got that kid who i guess was still young enough that he couldn't lie seamlessly um that i started to figure out exactly what was going on and this ties into where <laughs> how did i segue into this the temperature of the silk so that's what it came down to is that when you feel silk it has a temperature to it that's different to other fabrics. So um, there's always the hand of it, but the hand can be really similar between a polyester and a silk, um, like a real silk. So what you end up having to feel for is the temperature. And the Georgette is a different temperature. It's slightly cooler, but just it's just a little bit above room temperature. And a real satin um, feels icy. Like, it's not actually cooler, but it has the feeling of being cooler. Um, so yeah, that's what it eventually comes down to. So this is a lovely silk. In conclusion, my friends, this is a lovely silk. It is a silk satin and a silk Georgette, and you will spend all your time doing this. <laughs> it's so, so soft. Okay, that was my big, my big silk exposition. Um, okay, there is. Okay, do you guys know, you know what, she probably posted this one and you guys loved it. It's a Wabi Sabi. So this one is a crepe silk. I'll tell you guys the number in case it's, so it's on our Instagram as well. I'm wearing it. Um, the number on this one is PRC3182 and we just haven't given them names yet. Um, it's a crepe silk. It's really soft. The colors are incredible. If you are going somewhere and you, like in the summer, if you need a summer look, 
this is the ultimate summer look. And because it has this kind of indigo-y blue in there, you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with white, you could wear it with gray, you could wear it with the Mina slip dress underneath. Um, just a gorgeous piece. And again, when we talk about these saris and how like they're, the fabrics and the prints are gorgeous, and then just when you think, oh, they can't possibly do anything that's gonna make this even better, they do something like this. Like, I would never in a million years have thought that they could put this orange in here and have it work without the orange looking out of place. But what I think it does is it adds just enough contrast to make the other colors pop. Um, makes me think of the 60s, yeah. Like it's just so wild, but in a fun kind of, you know, I'm living my best life kind of a way. I love it. So this one is a Wabi Sabi piece if you're interested. I think I already told you the number. Um, and then, there's one more sculptural tunic dress and then two self pocket dresses and we are getting to the end of our show. So this one here is also divine. It is, it's a Georgette silk. Wait a minute. It's a crepe. That's a crepe silk. Let me double check. Oh, it does not have a tag. So this one might not be on the website, guys. Um, I'll have a look at it once this, sh this is over. It's PRC3185, and it's definitely Wabi Sabi. Um, I know Shafali said she added a bunch of pieces at the end, and maybe she just didn't sticker them. So maybe this is one of them. But this is also a sculptural tunic dress in, that is an ultramarine blue, outlined in black. And then this other color is a teal. And in here, that's a baby blue. So it's a baby blue with a green, which kind of makes it look a lot more teal. So that's, that's how this one looks. And then we have two self pocket dresses that are also Wabi Sabi. Both of them are sheer. So I'll start with this one, because she's a beauty. And I still haven't even shown you guys the, um, <laughs> I haven't even shown you the jumpsuits yet. So I told my husband, I'm like, I only have 30 pieces to show. So I'm gonna be home in time for dinner. So maybe I'll just like pick up some food for us and then we'll eat. And I said, when does the restaurant close? And he's like, 10. I'm like, oh yeah, no problem. I will definitely be done by 10. Well, I'm kind of sensing I'm not gonna be done by 10. So Gord, if you're watching, we need to figure out dinner. So this here is the self pocket dress. It is in a sheer fabric. There's a lot more spaciousness here through the arms, uh, unlike the sculptural tunic dress. It's also not A-line. So this is wider through here and continues that same width and then gives you a little bit more space down here for the pocket where so you, can, you have more happening down here if you need to. It also has this little pleat across the back and the center that allows you to pull this forward a bit more if you need it, um, if you need additional space through here. So we have this one here, which is Beautiful, and we only started making this dress in sheer fabric this year, but we've had a lot of positive feedback from it because um, it's just a great cut. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to just layer it over things. And then the second one is also, oh, this is not a self pocket dress. Guys, this is not a self pocket dress. This one here is a sculptural tunic. No, it's a self pocket dress, what the heck? There it is, yeah, because see this, this is the pocket. So that, and you know how you can tell is the width of that sleeve. So this goes in there and there's your pocket right there. So the colors are like a lavender periwinkle. I'm gonna call that a periwinkle, a darker periwinkle, a sky blue, fabulous purple, and some orange. Um, so again, really very pretty. Beautiful colors on that. All right, what haven't I shown you? All of these, okay. We may be at that time where I just kind of fly them past you. So this one is a poncho. Yeah, this one's a poncho. Holly, this is the one that you were looking at today. It is super soft. Um, and actually look at that patch. It blends in so well, you can't even tell it's there. Um, incredibly soft silk. Beautiful colors, they're coming out accurately there. And um, there's so many different ways. And there's that, that way that Holly just showed us where you can kind of take this side 
and this side and put them together with a magnet and then use magnets to close off the sleeves to create a blouse. It's a beautiful idea. So this one is part of the collection that we released today. Um, those are, those are those. Um, here's another one. So here's another poncho here. Beautiful, soft fabric, really soft fabric. And what I really love is this line through here. That's, that is a little bit um, of something special that Anchel added probably because there was some sort of a flaw in the fabric here. And so she found this gorgeous matching border to center onto it and it looks amazing. Just amazing. Um, yeah, really warm colors. Um, I think that this is an all season piece, really soft. So this is part of our sale collection too. And then, what else, what else? I'm gonna show you those. Um, okay, this one, we have a matching cardigan in this too. This is a waterfall top with a super fun digital print. Like, look at that. And then the back looks like that. This is why it's Wabi Sabi. You can see all those little sparkles there. I don't know if you guys can see how sparkly that is. So what they've done is they've added some sparkles in order to cover some pinholes. And this fabric being kind of more satiny is really showing the pinholes. For those of you who aren't familiar with the waterfall top, they can be worn this way. So you can wear either side to the front. One side is a V, one side is round necked. Um, it's really flattering because it does angle inwards and then the drape, like see how it kind of cascades down the sides? So it narrows you through here. This is a really great style if you are apple shaped or heavier from here through to here, but then a tiny bum and tiny legs. Um, because what it'll do is it'll elongate you this way and then drape it down to your legs. Uh, when I wear this style, I do tend to take that and tuck it up here so that I'm wearing a blousy top with a longer back and you can wear either side to the front. Fabric on this is really soft. Um, then there is another waterfall top here. What's that? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so this is another waterfall top. Um, I think this side you have the two colors. This side, you just have the one color. Colors are coming out really true, and it's very soft. So there's this one, and then this, it looks like it's a midi length caftan. Um, and we had one in this shade of blue before, but then it had a panel that was pink and orange. This one is kind of cool because it just has the gold, the gold woven into it. So that flower and all of this down here at the bottom is gold, kind of like um, a pewter gold. Um, very like kind of like a whiter gold that's embroidered through to create that design. So you could wear it this way, or you could wear it in this way. And look at those roses, it's beautiful. And then the pattern, the fabric itself has a zigzag on it. So there's that one. Wow, this one's really soft. It's worth sharing with you just to tell you how soft it is. So this one is a front tie top. You can wear the tie to the front or you can wear the tie to the back. I think I would wear it to the back and I would pair it with gray. Um, that's gorgeous, really gorgeous. What a beautiful, soft look for summer. Um, and then this one is one of my favorite digital prints. There, you can see how gorgeous that is. I feel like I saw another piece that was very similar to this. I think we have this one in a poncho as well. We just haven't shared it yet. A poncho or a, um, kimono sleeve top, but you can wear it this way. This is the shrug style, by the way, or you can flip it over. And I think, I don't think I would wear it like this because you lose all of those flowers. And so you'd have to wear it this way. And then maybe do something with your hair so that all of that shows up like that. Um, so there's that. There's two new boxy tops, which I'm not gonna show you because you'll find them. Um, and then I have, Will I have time to order dinner? It could happen. It could happen, friends. So I have one, two, three. Oh, gotta show you that one. Four, also breathtaking. Five, uh-oh, six, seven, eight. I have eight of these to show you. I am going to start with the most beautiful one um, because it's so freaking gorgeous um, so that I can show you the fit and then I'll just show you the fabrics of the other one. So, don't know if you can fully see that, but that's all embroidered. You see it? It's that same Kantha stitch work. 
and then it also has some sparkles in it. The colors are ridiculously beautiful. You can see them there. There, yeah, you can see it there. Absolutely crazy beautiful. Just, it, it almost looks like an antique fabric. It's so rich looking and muted. Um, and then the rest of it has just the occasional sparkle. And on the back, yeah, all the way through. Those little sequiny sparkles are everywhere. The stitching is everywhere, which is so unusual for one of these pieces, because normally you just get that embroidery down one leg. And so we have been trying to figure out the fit of these. They are definitely wider this way, but we feel like because of the slit under the arm, they're not as wide this way as they could be. So um, we sent a message to Achel today and said, I, I think I might even send these back to her and have her increase the slit um, by an inch or two and then send them back to us because it's a pity that like they really should be more size inclusive and they were designed to be but I feel like as we changed the cut to use the longer sari so that we'd have more coverage through here we forgot that we also needed to add a bit more of a slit here so there's nothing wrong with them but I feel like the fit could still be better and more inclusive if we just keep tweaking it so that's where I'm at with this. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is not meeting my standard of this is the perfect style. So this is what it looks like on. I would probably wear something underneath it like I am now. And I feel like it fits, like it fits well. Um, the straps are definitely wider apart than they used to be and that gives you more space through here. Um, and because it's bias cut, there is, I mean, there's some room to play in here but not as much as I would like. So um, Alex tried it on today, this new cut, and she said it fits her, and I'll have to ask her exactly what her bra size is, um, but she's bigger than I am. But if you are in the 36, 38C, 36D, double D range, this will fit, um, and it's absolutely stunning. Like, those colors are, I'm not even sure if you guys can see how beautiful this is, but they're, beautiful like just you know what it is I love that kind of taupey color that they've put underneath there it's just so rich um the way that 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 kind of taupe which is so warm the way they've placed it with this bright blue and then the pink it's just it's unbelievable the color is unbelievable so this is one of them they do come with a belt this one is also exceptional for its embroidery but this one it's more like an outline you see there how it's got like that yellow and then the yellow is outlined with sequins and these flowers are all sequined as well stitched and sequined um, except on this one so it does have little like clusters of sequins throughout but the stitching is only in here in the one leg which would have been the bolo and then this one this one is very very pretty pinks and reds this one has no embroidery if you're looking for something like that. Um, this one here also has no embroidery. It's just blues, greens, and reds. Really fun. Very, very pretty. Um, this one here does have embroidery. So I'll quickly show you that. This one has, oh my God, look at that. You see the colors there? Um, there, right there, that's accurate. It's different shades of pink, orange, and red, separated by blue-greens that kind of go running through it, and then it's got sparkles and embroidery all the way through it. Um, there's more embroidery there, like silver lines that kind of embroider through. And then these, whoops, these are also embroidered. These yellow stripes are embroidered as well. So another stunning, stunning piece. I don't expect we'll have these in the Wabi Sabi collection for very long because at 40% off, these are just a steal, and they're beautiful. Uh, what else do we have? Um, here's another one with exceptional embroidery. Oh, look at that. So there's the one leg there. Look at that design right there. How absolutely stunning is that? <laughs> Crazy. And then the back looks like this. Very pretty, beautiful, beautiful work on the bottom. 
right there. Unbelievable. So I tried to find a fabric like this for my daughter to make something for her for her wedding. And you can't even get this Kantha stitch stuff anymore. Nobody had it, which was a little frustrating. And I ended up having to go with something else. But it's funny because we seem to get so much of the Kantha stitching here, but you can't get it in India anymore. So this one also has beautiful embroidered flowers. And then look at that. That panel is all embroidered there. And then for those of you who don't like embroidery, this one is just beautiful. It reminds me of Greece for some reason, maybe because these are kind of like Greek keys and the colors are just a gorgeous blue. Blues and chartreuse and yeah, blues and chartreuse. So that's it everybody, that is everything. Um, so we just added all of those. There's still a lot of Wabi Sabi to come. Um, we have a lot of pieces that we just quickly put out on the rack so they're available in store, but we haven't uploaded them. We're just trying to upload like 10 or 12 pieces a day. So I'll keep you posted as they get uploaded. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. It is always a pleasure playing, playing with these fabrics with you. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna do a live just to show you what's going on in the fundraiser that we're doing for um, the Zonta Women's Club. It should be really great. And then Saturday, we're gonna be at the um, Gage Park in Hamilton as part of Hamilton Eco Market. And then I think things slow down again. Um, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Um, have a fabulous night, everybody. It's, it's wonderful to see you again. Take care. Bye.